Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I am Dr. Kamran Sandhu. Today we will discuss about sampling techniques and types. Sampling definition. It is actually predetermined number of observations taken from a larger population. In other words, sample is a set of data and which has been collected or selected from a population by using a well-defined procedure. This slide shows about target population, study population and sampling. So number one is target population. Target population is total group of individuals from which the sample might be drawn. For example, target population represents 100%. Number two is study population. The study population is the group of individuals in a study. For example, you have selected 500 persons from the target population and you would like to study, you will like to conduct some research and get some information. And number third is the sample. So it is predetermined number of observations from a larger population, for example, 200 persons. So here you can see the first one is the target population. Then you will select study population. And finally, you will go for sample. Here comes sample selection stages. The very first step in sample selection is identification of target population. A sampling frame is the source material and from which we will draw a sample. It actually explains list of all those who are present in the population and who have the chances to be selected in a sample. We can say that individuals, organizations, households, offices, or any other item. The third step is probability or non-probability techniques. In probability sampling, everybody will get equal chances of selection. And in non-probability, the case is other way around. Then we identify sample units. Sample units are members of the population and a good source of measurement during the sampling process. These are distinct and non-overlapping entities like individual plants, branches within a plant, organization or a target area like a city, so number of the persons or household, etc. Here comes sample size. Sample size determination is the act of choosing number of observations so as to incorporate in a statistical sample. It is an important feature of empirical study and you would like to get results from the population. Statistics got very good support for sample size calculation. However, presently there are certain sample size calculators available free of cost. The next step is actual sampling units. So after doing all the above activities, you will reach at this stage that whom should be included in the sampling and which one should be excluded means there are two terminology inclusion criteria and exclusion criteria so you will set both which one needs to be added and which one should be removed the next step is field work so after doing the above practices you will be in a position to finalize your sample now you will move to the field work you will meet them and you will collect the data so sample collection sampling techniques there are different uh, methods available and which we will discuss in next slide this slide this slide tells about types of sampling so there are two types and all researcher needs to be focused and must understand these two types so number one is probability sampling and number two is non-probability sampling technique in probability sampling there is a random selection there are equal chances of selection. So everybody will get equal chance. In non-probability sampling technique, so non-random process is there and not equal chances of selections. So 
uh, as compared to the probability sampling, and which says that, says that there are uh, equal chances of selection. On the contrary, in non-probability, there are not equal chances of selection of a sampling unit. So types of sampling, probability, simple random sample, and you will find an identifier and you will pick randomly then stratified random sample it includes subgroups for simple random sampling so stratifieds mean groups subgroups then systematic sampling systematic sampling is done having fixed intervals like five then gap of three then five then gap of three then five like this cluster sampling so cluster sampling represents groups clusters for random selection so you will divide your uh, population into certain clusters groups and you will pick your uh, uh, sampling um, units from them non probability it is convenient sampling so you will do having in mind convenience to access like respondent which are very closer to you and easily accessible snowball sample recruiting some members who in turn recruit others so a person and he knows another person and another person so this is snowball sample quota sample so you will divide your sampling frame or population based on subgroups having similar and identical characteristics next one is purposive or judgmental sample so you will see for those respondents who will fit for the study who can give you better insight. Thank you very much. For any observation or any question, please contact me on my email address or you can comment below. Thank you.